Hello, welcome to the 340 video. In this video, we'll cover how to make a project, how to make a schematic file, and how to make a PCE file for your 340 receiver board project. So a project file to start out is a group of folders, it's more like a directory, that holds all the files that you'll need for your PCB layout. This includes a schematic file and the PCB layout file. Um, so we're gonna cover how to make all those. So to start, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click File up here in the top left, New Project. I'll come up with this. You'll give your project a name. I'm going to name my video demo. You can give a description. Yours will be like 340 receiver board, yada, yada, yada. Now hit create. Now we have our own file or project. You see it over here in the left corner. Um, to get this page, if it's not here, you'll click on panels down in the bottom right. And you see you have all these options. You can collect projects. And I'll bring it up. And you can take it from here, put it in the middle, take it from the other side, um, talk to the bottom. I like to have mine on the left. Um, once you have that, you'll right click on your project, add new to project, and you'll select schematic. Um, good practice would be using text right here and giving your project a title. Um, I'll cover more how to do this in the next video, but title. And it's just this text button here. Once you have that, you're going to want to save it. So Control S will let you save, and then you can give it any name you want. Video, demo, semantic, whatever. So now that's, that's saved, you're also going to right click again. You're going to do add new to project, PCB. So the reason you do this is because later when you want to connect your PCB and schematic, you have to already have the PCB file generated. So it's easier to just generate them all at once. Um, a few setup things you want to do right away. You'll click Edit up in the top left, and then Origin Set, and then click the bottom left corner of your board. Makes it easy for you. Um, and then hit Control S. You can save it. Whatever you want. And now it's saved. Another few tips I'm going to give on PCB layouts right now um, will be if you hit one while you're on PCB you'll get this screen instead. Um, from here, if you want to edit board shape, you click Design and Edit Board Shape. And you'll get these squares. And you might be asking why to edit the board shape. You can look in Properties right now. So that's one of the panels you can generate. Um, you'll see that you'll have your areas. So right now, this is 24 square inches, which is a really large circuit board. Um, so you'll want to shrink it down. But you can, I wouldn't suggest shrinking it down too much yet. Wait until you have your component so you see how big your board needs to be. And then you'll hit two to go back to this view. Um, later, when you have components, you can hit three and go into a 3D view. Um, and that's all. Make sure you save it. Thanks for watching.